Craig Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. I want to walk you through a new app here to Android, not new to the mobile space, but new to Android as a platform. It's called Slice Mobile. So you've heard me rage about uh, TripIt for Android, right? And basically keeps track of all of your flights and hotels and car rentals and keeps you organized if you're on the road. This tracks and organizes your shopping. <laughs> I wouldn't normally consider myself a shopper, but uh, I guess in a sense I am. Uh, the way it works is, and I want to just show you in the settings, so you will link it to an inbox, and I have it linked to my personal Gmail. And it scans all my email and it finds order forms and shipping notices and uh, receipts and pulls them into the app. Now you can squelch iTunes and Netflix uh, orders because conceivably you'll have tons of them, right? And you don't really need to keep track of them, but they will be there. Uh, this is alpha, just by the way, so we've been using it for a few days now. So if you see any bugs here, that's why. So back to the uh, main screen here, it shows open orders, three on the way, I've got stuff coming today, one already delivered today, and I'll show you that separately, and history, and then it shows you total purchases and amount of money spent. This is a little ridiculous, I have no idea how far back it's going, it's at least two or three days for me to have spent $16,000 now. Is that a lot of money? I don't know, because I'm not sure. I mean, there's 323 items over I don't know how long. So it's interesting to see. I'm not sure how useful that really is. Dive in and see open orders. So I just ordered uh, some new stereo equipment for my living room. And it looks like I've got some Cat5 coming. Uh, delivery date not found. Now, it's weird because it's actually on the way, and I know this because it's part of this other order. You see, I just panned over to uh, shipped, where you can go to all, go back to the left, ship delivered. Really nice, look at that uh, scrolling, that's the way it should be. Same thing, let's see, that's not, oh, those, I only have three shipped so it won't scroll, but this scrolls, very, very nice. So it shows you individual orders, individual items, and let's see, I'm expecting these things to come today. Order date, order number, shipping, total price, service number, so if I need help, I can call. That's cool, it tells me exactly what's coming. I can see a receipt, the shipping receipt, or the return policy. Got a little map here, and it's interesting, it's kinda neat. This shows you the uh, shipping history, right? Like if you went to FedEx or UPS, you would see this as well, but it shows you a map. The map doesn't do all that much for you, it shows you where it started, it shows you where it's going, but it doesn't like show you where a truck is, right? Now that would be cool, but we're not quite there yet. Um, anything else really? I mean, it, it really is that basic, right? It says one thing delivered today. That's actually, I ordered uh, Lightroom 4 today because that has been uh, updated, so I got the upgrade. So that shows, even though it was only a digital delivery, it still shows up here in Slice, so that's kind of cool. Other than that, I mean, it's all very self-explanatory and really nicely organized, and I like this a lot. If you go to the history, you will see items and orders, so you can scroll through everything that you've ordered ever. A lot, a lot of stuff here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go all the way to the bottom and see what it is. All right, so that went all the way to June 17th, 2008. So when we look at that big, giant total down here on the bottom, that's since uh, 2008. So that's interesting. I like that. So I'm not generally an organized guy, but I'm kind of digging Slice. I think I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to like it, especially because one of my big hassles for package tracking apps is having to put in the tracking number, right? This does it automatically. I can see the stuff that's coming today, and I can be here and be ready for it. So there you go, guys. A quick look at Slice for Android. See you later.